Welcome back, Sports Tonight, on your award-winning sports-loving channels, television. Uh, we have been trying to understand what's going on uh, with the NFF leadership tussle. We spoke to Yemi Kostoka, our correspondent in Jazz, who was at the Federal High Court to uh, monitor the proceedings, and then we also listened to the counsel of... Um, Christopher Giwa and the Nigeria Football Federation. The court has adjourned the case to September the 25th. Remember, the NFL election is supposed to hold on September the 30th. So what's going on? It seems a lot of things will be put on hold. But uh, Festus Kiamo has warned that it will be catastrophe and the loss will be colossal for Nigerian football. He said something. He said, let's remember that we're doing this for the future of Nigerian football. If this leadership crisis is not ended, uh, why not to stay in Nigeria? Might just be receiving a worldwide ban from FIFA. But then again, we want the right things to be done uh, as regards football in Nigeria. And if you're wondering, is it only football that we have crisis? No. And the Nigeria Basketball Federation, there are two presidents. Yes, two presidents in the Nigerian Basketball Federation. In the Athletics Federation of Nigeria, uh, there's been a crisis here and there, conflict between uh, the president and, of course, the vice president. Remember, the vice president has been speaking for so long uh, because of what the Ministry of Youth and Sports are uh, put on him that talks about him being involved in doping scandals where we're waiting for the panel uh, for the panel reports it should come out this week and then we'll find out what's going on with Olamide George and his place his position in the athletics federation of Nigeria Sunday Adelaya is another key player in the athletics federation of Nigeria he is the athlete's representative and also the technical director of the athletics federation of Nigeria at the weekend, the 2018 Nigeria Track and Field Championship came to an abrupt end uh, on Sunday morning when athletes protested. They protested against Sunday Adele, um, and his stay as a, as a representative of athletes in the board. They said Sunday Adele has been representing them properly. And so uh, they, they went on to protest, and then that competition uh, came to an abrupt end. This is the first time in over 60 years that the competition has been holding, that it will be disrupted. The athletes said that no, that Sunday isn't representing them properly. And so with that now, we're wondering if we cannot have the trials that will give us athletes that we compete at the upcoming African Athletics Championships. It's just next month in Asaba. Then how are we going to get the athletes? How are we going to get quality athletes to represent the country? Let's go to Ijebo. The Charles Hima is the assistant athletes representative uh, in the Athletics Federation of Nigeria and the Board of Athletics Federation of Nigeria. Joins us now live on the program. Uh, Charles, good to have you on sports tonight. Hello, Charles. Hello, good evening. Okay, uh, I'm just trying to, to understand this protest uh, by the athletes. What really uh, went down at um, the athletics track and field championships in Abuja on Sunday? What happened? Uh, actually, it started uh, on Sunday when I was being arrested. I was being arrested for, not, for no purpose, for no reason. Actually, I was different by what happened at Ozoro earlier on, that's two weeks ago. Athletes were at the top level of anger and they said they were not going to compete until their needs are met. Hmm. Now, they called me as the vice president of each to come and speak on behalf of everybody and say them what to pray for us. Actually, I was addressing and uh, people with the athletes rep came and asked the athletes. Mm. So we're struggling with that connection um, uh, to get the assistant athletes representative, Charles Ima, uh, to give us um, his own view as regards what's going on. But basically, the athletes protested and then stopped the, the track and field championship in Abuja on Sunday because they said they do not want Sunday Adele, uh, who is the athletes representative and the tech director of the Athletics Federation of Nigeria. They said they don't want Sunday Adele to represent them in the board anymore. But uh, Cosmos, from the moment this board came in, it wasn't even up to uh, a month 
we started hearing of rancor, of disagreements right there in the board. Yes, certainly. Um, of course, um, one of the uh, sports federations that have been having issues has been the Athletic Federation of Nigeria. And then, as you said, they came in on board and um, just over a month, it started having issues. Um, I think at that time, close to it was the World Athletic Championship in London. Yeah. And there were issues. By the way, we the, went uh, there and... and couldn't get anything. There were issues Thank and you. all. Um, now, con concerning the issue, I mean, I mean, I heard about it and I was able to talk to one or two of the athletes and, of course, the saying several things. But then, you know, in journalism, we have to balance it. So I was able to get to Sunday Adele um, yesterday. And, and, and he told me that um, basically there are some sort of... Um, um, I would, I would I say, um, conspiracy theories against him going around. And one of the reasons um, for this protest was the fact that um, the championship was open to everybody, all comers. And they had over 600 um, athletes, you know, there. And of course, then the uh, um, letter that they sent to the um, state federations, uh, they were told that um, these athletes would take care of themselves. Now, they came and they were protesting because of, of um, low welfare and all that. And, um, you know, I had to ask him, I said, okay, fine. If the local people are protesting, the international athletes as well, I mean, the foreign-based athletes, we are also protesting what happened as well. And um, it looks as if some of these people were, uh, according to him, you know, were siding with these ones. I, it, it seems there's some sort of things going on against him and all that. But whether it is right or the athletes are right, are right it is a very simple thing. Yeah. In less than three weeks, Mm. There is an African Athletic Championship holding in Nigeria in Asaba. Right. South Africa is ready. That's right. Kenya is ready. They're already training. Ready, ready. They're already training. And mm. Nigeria, the host. Ready. Yeah. Nigeria, the host. Nigeria, the host. I've not even gotten a team. So, so it's a problem of leadership. Yes, that's what it is. Big time problem if of you leadership. You come from what is happening in football, and then you land in athletics, and then you take a walk to basketball. You find out that it's still leadership, leadership. Everything rises and falls on leadership. And if the foundation is destroyed, what can we do? So uh, we're trying to understand it. Sadly, we can't get Charles Hima to speak on that. We will continue this discussion tomorrow on this show. Hopefully, Sunday Adele will be reachable because we're trying to reach Sunday Adele to have his views on this also. But let me just let you know that all of this has its own consequence because we know that Nigerian athletes, the junior athletes, we miss out of the IWF World Junior Championship. I was so sad about that. I mean, Joy Udo Gabriel. Mm. I was hoping that you see more of her after what she did at the team, Commonwealth Games. She was picked mm. by the International Athletic Body for this competition with That's two right. other people. I was so sad. I mean, fine, the age-long um, problem of procuring visas and mm. the itches and everything. We were supposed to go on Friday. Competition started today. It is so sad that they couldn't go. And, 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 it's, and it's, it, it, you talk about... Um, leadership I issues i mean when it comes to sports i mean pretty much 95 percent of all the sports federation mm. have crisis in them mm. it has never happened before as far as i know i do stand to be corrected okay. but it has never happened before as far as i know mm. where all well, of the sports be people managed that's what i'm saying mm. now mm. over all of them maybe shooting um is maybe the only one that there's no rancor <laughs> eh? but pretty much almost every one of them and i still have to say it eh? yeah. it has to show that see it's a leadership thing and it has to start from the top it mm. has to start from the sports minister mm. how will you have all sports predation under you must. having crisis this I is guess. sad calm down cosmos really very for the sad. second <laughs> year in a row for the second year in a row nigeria's track and team field the track and field team has failed to participate in a global underaged athletics event. Remember, they didn't go to Kenya yes. for the junior uh, championship. Mm -hmm. Now, we were hoping that they would attend the IWF World Under 20 Championship that is taking place in Finland. That's not happening. Remember, I told you everything rises and falls on leadership. Now, according to the Secretary General of the Athletics Federation of Nigeria, his name is Amichi Akawo, he says Nigeria's inability to make the trip to Finland was due to visa issues. This competition has a date. From the start of the year, if you go to the IWF calendar, this competition has a date. So why are we just, you know, 
we try to understand why you why are you trying to solve a problem you must identify it first and that's what we're trying to do identify the problem that they were not granted these entry visas into Finland what was the logistics like who were the persons in charge of of of, of applying for uh, the visas for very the sad. athletes very sad no, very sad good. annoyingly very sad good. Uh, annoyingly sad mm. and, and <laughs> I don't know why we keep having these issues every time. I mean, the young shy grew, leaders of tomorrow. I know that. It's been that yeah. since when I was so young. Yeah. But these are three young people, and it would have been a good preparation for Let that. Let me tell you, Enoch Adeboe had a fantastic outing at the Commonwealth Games exactly. in Gold Coast, Australia. And his own this base. This is an opportunity to see him and again. And his own base. Thank you. He's on base. Joy Udo Gabriel. He's on base. Fantastic. She's on base. She's on base also. We were hoping to see more of them. Now, when you don't put a process in place for continuity, for athletes to consolidate on their efforts, now somebody will jump up some with that and they'll go for a big lunch and see they can't even win. And he, you, didn't, you didn't do anything I, 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 to, to and, 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 that is, and that is something that we should talk about. Speaking with Sunday Adela yesterday, he even said that some international um, professionals who come to Nigeria, they can't even make the numbers of time that probably somebody like Enoch Adegoke beating them. Now you have an international competition where these people will be exposed. Eh? And they can't go because of one issue or the other. It's very, very sad. It's, it's annoyingly sad. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's put um, lots of um, um, strain on people that are trying to grow athletics in this country yeah. and other sports as well. And, and, and it's so sad because as a pundit, I want to talk about what is happening on the track. I want to talk about the personal best. I want to talk about the season best. I want to talk about the um, records, That's I mean, right. records and all. I want to talk about, you know, athletes protesting and what is happening pretty much all around the, uh, we shouldn't be analyzing court issues when it comes to sport we should talk about the sport itself and that is why i said everybody that is administrators sport administ that into sport administration mm. in this country mm. please uh, shout your sword mm. it's it's the, the interest of sport is for this country That's right. we shouldn't be having all these <laughs> issues and, and I think that just it. I, I don't know. I've never been this emotional. But uh, I mean, well, it's so a, sad. Very sad. For the love of the game. Uh, uh, Dari Kuti, uh, we'll get to your messages. He said the Ministry of Foreign Affairs needs to wade into the visa issues of Nigerian athletes. We've been talking about this for a very long time. Uh, this is just three persons that can't go to Finland. Has it ever happened with football? Has it ever happened? Think about it. So it's about a preparation. Cosmos. That's true. You know, you know, even with basketball, <laughs> That's it true. doesn't happen. It doesn't so it's happen. about people saying that, oh, they're just two, three. We can't mm. delay it. Cosmos, I must say thank you so much uh, for coming on the show tonight. Yeah, thank you so much mm. for having me on this uh, very, I don't know what to describe the night. Okay. The adjective to describe we the night. We will get I don't, know, I don't know. Someday we will overcome. Thank you so much. And to you, wherever you are in the world watching sports tonight on channels TV, keep talking to us on Twitter. We're channels on the sports. Facebook channels are if you sports. That's the show for the team. I'm Austin Okonakman. Let's do this again tomorrow. But until then, in everything you do, remember to keep talking sports. Bye for now.